Okay, Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all honors and glory and praises due to, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors and apostles and elders, a great millstone, uh, peace to Akin that's doing this work, uh, risking your lives and freedoms of doing this work. And uh, shout out to you, Confucius based brothers that's on the four corners of the earth, no matter where you are, as long as you're staying into this truth of the scriptures of Yahweh, by Hashem, Shai. You know, and a few aqua women that are watching and learning from the scriptures. The uh, reason why we're doing this video today is because, like, you know, uh, California has been getting hit extremely hard with uh, fires uh, the, throughout really the whole state. Like, even from, like, the northern part of California and the southern part of California. And what this is really is, is that, you know, we're at the end of... Uh, the end of the world, because right now this is Esau's uh, kingdom of heaven, and uh, Jacob's is coming, which I'm going to go ahead and read it right quick. Yes, uh, on, uh, yeah, on Second Ezra chapter six, uh, really, uh, was, uh, we go to eight, then nine, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And you know when you know when they you know when you read that you know of uh, Jacob holding the heel of Esau, that represents a future captivity uh, that's that, coming up. Okay, yep, yeah, yeah, it, it, to go along with what the brother said, it rep it represents Esau's future captivity, and it, it represents the like it says, the end of, it's pulling down Esau, so the end of Esau's world and the beginning of Jacob's world, okay? It represents the end of Esau's power. That's right, and that's what it is. You know, also too, uh, let me uh, let me read uh, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it, you know, that follow it because, you know, uh, everything is happening like like me, you know, I'm, I'm an older gentleman. You know, um, and the stuff that's happening now, I ain't never seen this see this stuff go on when I was a kid or a younger adult. You know, a lot of stuff that's going on now, I've never seen before. Like, I'll give you a prime example, like here in Detroit, you got a lot of homeless uh, uh, Edomites asking and begging for money. You know, like they out here doing stuff that Jake, that Jake do not like, going to the gas station, asking, can I pump your gas? i seen that. I witnessed that. A few a, really a handful of times, you know, and also too, you know, I've been seeing a lot of even my women with J kids. I ain't never seen that before. Ah. Did you want to add something to that? Uh, yeah, because it's a, it's a, it's a shift, all right? The, the wicked, you saw the so-called white man whom the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai set up into power, he's, right. he's coming out of his power, all right? And the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos and the so-called Native Americans are coming into power, all right? We're Yasharala, we're princes of the power, all right? That's right. All these women, whether they outwardly say it or keep it in secretly, they lust after the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man, all right? That's right. You want me to bring that Deuteronomy out? Yes, sir. Okay, kind. This is, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7. And it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Yeah. That's right. Because, like, you know, um, you know, when you touch uh, Yahweh, uh, 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 his seed, you know, that's a uh, consequence and we and we precautions because of it. You know, like right now, you know, these Edomites are out here living it up, mm -hmm. you know, and everything, because this is their kingdom of heaven. But there's gonna be a price to pay at the end of it. Kind. You and, know. And they're paying that price now. Kind. All right. You got man, these Edomites out here, they down bad, man. They doing like freaking bad, bro. You know, they own the oids. They, they begging us for change, all right? And I had just did a video last week about uh, the parable about Lazarus, all right? The, the rich man and the poor man Lazarus. And you Edomites got a lot of nerve, even in that parable, 
telling Abraham, tell Lazarus to go fetch me some water. You, you even might not be proud up until Obadiah 18, all right, when we burn you up. That that take a lot of fucking nerve, man. You so-called white people as well as you other heathen nations. But like we, the brother hadn't even grabbed uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, the, the curses that were on the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and so-called Native American, now they're going to be on you. Double, all right? That's right. I'm still holding that Zacharias. Oh, you too. Okay, yeah, you get that. Okay, Kai, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 2 and verse 8. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoil you, for he that toucheth you touches the apple of his eye. God, that's right, because, you know, we are the apple of the Lord's eye. And uh, uh, take it even further, I'm going to um, actually read uh, Deuteronomy. You got it, I can't go. Excuse me. Uh, reading Deuteronomy uh, chapter 7, verses 6. For thy are a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God, because, you know, um, this is all who we care about. You know, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, uh, you so-called Native Americans, and you so-called confusion of faith that's been scattered on the four corners of earth that goes back to the uh, sea of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on your father, on your uh, forefather's side. That's right. Khan, you know what I'm saying? You want to add something to that? Uh, Khan, I just wanted to get this real quick. Uh, this is going to be the book of uh, First Maccabees, chapter um, 2. Because, see, all you nations had a, a, a part of us, right? The brother had me get that uh, in Zechariah, chapter 2, in verse 8. It says, for the nations we spoiled you. All of you nations spoiled us, all right? Starting from the top uh, heathen nation, which is the smallest, which are you Edomites, you so-called white people, on down to you so-called uh, Chinese people, you Asian people, you Moabites, all right? This is the book of first, and this is proof. This is the book of first Maccabees, chapter uh, 2 and verse 9. I'm going to start at verse 9. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Who is that her? That her is the nation of Israel, all right? Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. Verse 10. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils, all right? So, right. Khan, all of you nations touch the apple of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's eye. Whether you touch, whether you messed over the so-called Negroes, whether you messed over the so-called Hispanics, or whether you messed over the so-called Native Americans, you, it's a recompense coming, and you have to pay for that. That's right. And I'm going to go to the uh, book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket ah. yep. and are continuing and are counted and are counted as the small desolate dust the, of the dust okay, you said, of the balance of the balance behold he touches take it take it up the aisles the aisles as a very little thing kind that's right and so if you're carrying a bucket of water all right say you're, i like to use this analogy if you're gonna wash your car right and you fill up a bucket of water and you walk into your car and one drop of water fall out that bucket are you going to put that bucket down and go back to try and pick up that one drop of water <laughs> hell no that water done evaporated right so that's how the heavenly father looks at all the nations uh outside of the nation of israel all right, that's right. outside of you so-called negroes outside of you so-called latinos and outside of you so-called Native Americans, all right? It says it takes us of the dust of the balance. If we, you know, back in the day, they had these balance of scales. Matter of fact, that one thing you show that Lady Liberty holding the two scales, all right? Say so you got the scales right here, right? If a drop, if one drop of dust touch this scale, that's not gonna make it move. That one drop of dust is nothing. That's how the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, looks at all of you That's nations right. outside of the nation of Israel. Now, and I'm going to uh, skip down to 17. Okay. All nations before him are as nothing. That's right. And they are contact counted. counted to him 
less than nothing and vanity. Kind. So, bro, if you, what's nothing? That's nothing, right? Right. How can something be less than nothing? That's just, that just, the Heavenly Father is just reiterating how less you other nations are to us, man. Matter of fact, right. uh, can you get a uh, second answer? Uh, what's Kai. that six? And what's that uh, about Adam? How he's chosen, everybody else is pretty much, you know. Okay. You know the scripture I'm talking about, right? I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, uh, second Ezra chapter 6. Yeah, 6. I'm going to say either 51. Yeah, chapter 6. So either 50, 54. Okay, kind. I got it, bro. Yeah, I got right, you. Yeah. I got it. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter 54. I mean, so like it, chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, all right? So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has a chosen people. He's a separatist, all right? He's a racist, okay? That's right. God is a racist, That's all right? right? That's right. The word race going back to Raza, all right? Being about your race, about your 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 roots, your seed, all right? The people you, you come from. Verse right. 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake, kind. The Heavenly Father made the uh, world for the Israelites, all right? And all you nations outside of the nation of Israel, y'all are to serve us, all right? That's right. But we're under the curses right now, so we're the tail, and you other nations are the head. But guess what? That's coming to an end, all right? Which means it's coming to an end. Uh, verse 56, as for the other people which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing, nothing <laughs> but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. That's right. So even from the time of Adam, you know, um, you know, who's an Israelite, you know, that goes all the way back to him, and he's an Israelite, you know, and, and it got spread, you know, all the way down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and so forth and so forth, ah. you know. And also, I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 40, 44, verses uh, 1. Ye, ye now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Come, because, you know, even this says that, you know, the children of Israel are chosen. And for you New Testament uh, Christians, I got something else for you, too, in the New Testament. You know, uh... Bring it out, brother. Come. Uh, book of Matthew chapter 1, verses... Uh, yeah, 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai, for he sh shall save his people from their sins. Huh. Huh. That's our possessive. It's saying he shall save his people. All right? So Yahushai has a group of people. The people outside of his people, he didn't come to save you. All right? That's why these curses are befalling all of you nations, especially you Edomites, because like I said in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7, that they were going to fall upon you, all right? That's why you got the wildfires in paradise, all right? Yeah. Paradise, <laughs> California. As a matter of fact, I'm sure if I can grab a scripture. Go ahead. <laughs> because Go ahead. that ain't no damn paradise. The Heavenly Father created a paradise in Edom, or I mean, Salakia in Eden, not Edom, all right? So this is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High Yahweh by Hashem Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Y'all mocking the Heavenly Father. You, you mocked him by taking the rainbow and making it a symbol of homosexuality. All right. You, you, you named a place called in California called Paradise. Oh. The Heavenly Father, like I just said, he created a paradise, all right? And that's why you were receiving these uh, wildfires. And that's a small thing. You God, got it, bro. And, 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 and check this out. I've been to California as a kid. And I'm going to tell you something. By me uh, 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 witnessing uh, being uh, out there in, like in Southern California, it's the most wickedest place anywhere compared to the whole United States. Mm. And I've done some traveling, you know, a little bit in my lifetime. And I can honestly say California is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. I wonder, is California worse than Las Vegas? 
I was thinking that. Was Ooh, day. I've been to Vegas Sin and it's, City. yeah, it's, 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 it's all seen. Okay. <laughs> you know. Right. Kind. And, and, you know, and it was hot too. Kind. You know. But, but California, man, is it, one of the most wicked places. That That's why uh, uh, the most high, you're putting judgment all over there. That's right. You know, um. You know, the Most High didn't burn California for nothing. It was for a perfectly and righteous reason. That's right. Uh, can I grab what you said, bro? Okay, this is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39, and I'm starting at verse 28. My point is in 29, though. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, all right? So the Heavenly Father, he created evil spirits, right? And it appeases him for them spirits to carry out his wrath. Here's the point in verse 29. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, all right? So just like Paradise, California is burning up now by fire, the Heavenly Father put a spirit. He had a spirit to do that, all right? It's the right. spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. <coughs> it's why uh, Paradise, California is burning up and on fire. It's not so much a paradise no more, is it? That's right. And also, I'm going to read this. Uh, this is another dagger. Uh, uh, book of Matthew, chapter 10, verses uh, 5 through 7. These 12, uh, Yahweh Shai sent forward. And commanded them, saying, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Uh, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what's going on right now. Yeah. You know, because, like, you know, this is a place, uh, 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 what you see in California. That's going to be spread throughout all the, you know, the whole mm -hmm. United States. That's right, bro. You know. Khan. Khan, you got us up? Khan, Khan. Uh, this is the book of um, Salak and Amos, uh, chapter 9, I believe. Yep, Khan. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, in verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, power are upon the sinful kingdom. Who are the eyes of the Lord? The angels, all right? That's why you have so many Akim. Uh, uploading videos of the chariots, all right, because that's what that's the vehicles that the angels ride in, all right. Uh, let me start over. Uh, Amos uh, 9 and 8 Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the yeah. face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. So, kind. There's going to be a, uh, the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, all right? And then you got the, uh, you know, it's the one-third men, women, and children. They are going to be saved, but the Heavenly Father is going to destroy all the rest of this evil, wicked shit, all right? That's right. That's going on. And Perry, all the things that's going on right now is just a prelude to of what's to come, man. All right? God, and, and this is a waste of time, but, you know, uh, Esau, Edom. You know, because here, like at uh, uh, downtown Detroit, uh, they still building out here. Right. And it's really a waste of time because it's going to be destroyed. That's right. Uh, matter of fact, can you get that scripture uh, where he should build in the Lord's I'm That's where I was going okay, right God, there that's for spirit, you, that's brother. Spirit. I was right, going okay. there for you. This is the book of Malachi, chapter uh, uh, 1 and verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate places, all right? And that's that right. was that was during the time of the Renaissance when Esau was coming back up into power, all right? Uh, continuing on. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. That's right. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people whom the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai have indignation forever. There's no saving the Edomite, man. That's right. All right. These, these so called white people, it's no saving them, man. All right. That's you, right. You niggas, you spicks and you uh, fucking Uncle Tomahawk Native Americans. You two thirds. Yeah, you two thirds. Y'all not, you look, they not going to be saved. They're through. They're done. That's All right. right. Well, with that, um, yeah, you got something oh, else. Oh, no, that's, I, okay, that's it. I, <laughs> 
Okay, with that, we want to give our honors and glory space to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shot, by Hashem, Rukhah Gadash, double honors and apostles and elders, great millstone, peace to the Akim that's doing this work on the four corners of earth, Shalom and Baba Baba. Shalom and Baba Baba. Rakata. Rakata. Oh, okay. Shalom. Shalom.